My parents didn't drink uh, wine, they didn't drink any alcohol, so I wasn't brought up with wine. When I drank wine, I always chose the cheapest one because you wanted the effect, not the taste. When I was around 24, I was visiting one of my suppliers in New York. And we were out having dinner every evening. I took a sip of the wine and I said, my God, can wine be so good? When I went home, I went into a store and at the cash register was the store manager. So I asked him, what is the best wine you have in your store? And so he looked at me and I was, said, well, I have a half bottle of Morton Rothschild from 1949. It was so good, I mean, tears came out of my eyes. It was so good. The next day I go back and says, how many bottles do you have? I have 50. Okay, I said, I'll take them. So that's how we started. Of course, being a wine collector seller was the key, and um, that, that was a big part of building a house, of course. It's not a beautiful cellar. It's a, on the contrary, it's quite ugly cellar, but it's functional to store wine properly. You don't want to spend more time than necessary because you freeze. And I keep temperature down there between seven and nine degrees. All of these wines are really, really good. Red Gaffey, fantastic Merlot. Maceto, 97. 97 was a fen phenomenal year for all of Italy, and particularly Maceto. Grappa is normally not made in uh, Piedmont, it's made in uh, South Tyrol. This guy, Romani Levi, he was an artist, not only on the inside, but also on the outside. I think is the best Grappa there is. In this group of wine friends that I have, when we have dinners, the greatest fun is to uh, fool everybody. They're all blind. If you drink wine that are 40, 50 years old, hard to tell if it's a Burgundy, Bordeaux, or Barolo. And when you get the bottle, when the bottle comes out, you see, they say, oh, I should have known. <laughs> that's the game. I think that's what so makes it so much fun. The fun thing with the black glass is people think they know if they drink a white wine that is white or red wine is red, which is not true. I did a tasting here for 12 people. I poured a very old white wine from Spain, Rioja, in the glass. And I asked them to say, tell me, is it white or is it red? And half said white and half said red. It's not so easy. My philosophy has never been to buy wine as an investment, because if you do that, then you have to focus just on that subject. And then it's not a hobby anymore. Then it's a business. Maybe I, I buy too much wine, but it's still a hobby. <laughs>